Well, he made headlines when he called New York's LaGuardia Airport a, quote, third world country last year. Monday, Vice President Joe Biden was back to say it's time to enter the first world. For a lot of folks who've flown in and out of LaGuardia Airport, images like this just, you know, you recognize it. It's leaky ceilings and garbage cans, collecting excess water, even standalone air conditioning units cooling down overheated terminals. While the vice president and New York Governor Andrew Cuomo unveiled plans Monday to tear down most of the airport and literally rebuild it from scratch, the first part of the plan should begin next year. It will cost $4 billion. LaGuardia is un-New York. This is a new phrase. You've heard the phrase un-American? Well, I'm starting a phrase that is un-New York. LaGuardia is slow, it's dated, it, has a, it is a terrible front door entrance way to New York. It is a lost opportunity. Uh, it is almost universally decried as a poor representation of an airport, let alone a New York airport. You talk to people who went through LaGuardia, you hear all sorts of things. I decry it every time I have to fly out of it. I mean, and I love the word decry, so LaGuardia gives me a lot of opportunities to do so. Partnering with Delta Airlines, the project includes a new unified terminal. It will connect the airport in Queens to mass transit. How about that? Including ferry and rail service. That is a big deal.